everybody and welcome back. Uh, today we have Steve Shives. Let's dive right in. Steve here, it's the show where I answer your questions and this week my first question comes from Ingerward Shirase. When you released this video, meaning last week's video, the UK had just had its general election. What are your thoughts on the result? Also, would you have voted for Lord Buckethead? <laughs> Lord Buckethead. Um, for those of you who don't know who Lord Buckethead is, he has run against the Conservatives in every constituency election since Margaret Thatcher. So that's Margaret Thatcher, John Major, and everything. All he's, he's always run, but he's never won. Now you get 200 and something seats, which to him is fucking fantastic. You know, 259, which is a personal record. But anyway, do you know if Lord Buckethead, just for the sheer fact, just to piss off Labour... Lib Dems, Tories and all those fuckers, even the SNP, I would vote for Lord Buckethead just to piss them off. Fuck it, it'd be a laugh. Anyway, let's see what you've got to say about this. To answer the last question first, no, I would not have voted for Lord Buckethead. <laughs> That's because he makes more sense than half of the fucking people you listen to. Or, eh, uh, spout for. Now, Steve, what happened to the Nazi badge on your hat? Oh well, anyway, that your Nazi badge on your hat? Yeah, well, anyway. You're a retard, let's continue. Uh, if I were a registered UK voter and I were voting in that election, uh, I would have voted for Theresa May's Labour Party opponent, uh, which was Pat McDonald. How did you know that? I didn't even know that. But mind you, I don't usually pay attention to constituency ones. I usually pay attention to the general elections and basically what policies the politicians are basically spouting. I mean, in my personal opinion, I choose the one that has the least harmful lies. I mean, they're all lies in the end of the day, they're politicians, but I choose the one with the least harmful ones. But anyway, um, you would have voted for Labour's alternative, you would have voted for Theresa May's alternative, the Labour, whatever, whatever, yeah. You would have voted for Labour simply because they are the British equivalent of the fucking Democrats, and the Democrats are fucking insane. Right. Look at who you had running for you, Hillary Clinton. That woman is a fucking psychopath. I mean, I always thought of myself as a bit of a functioning sociopath, but she is completely off her fucking rocker. I hate being the sane one in the world, but seriously, if I'm the sane one, she's a fucking lunatic. Right, she uh, she covers up fucking for her husband's fucking acts of rape and molestation of women. Um, she well mocked. I'm pretty sure a child being raped or a lassie being raped. She mocked them and then made them go silent. And she was caught on tape mocking them. Um, she deleted all those emails. Whether she fucking and then you hear the bullshit argument she came out with to explain why things happened and why, and it's literally she's turned into the fucking tinfoil wearing bag lady who screams down the street at random people and will end up throwing cats at people, right? Like straight out of the Simpsons, cat lady crazy. Right, so that's why you would have voted Labour, because Labour in this country is basically the British equivalent of fucking you retarded nuttles. Right? I mean, seriously, what the fuck is wrong with the world when we have to be relying on people like fucking you giving people who actually have common sense and logic advice on anything when you don't even understand the concept of free speech anymore? Well, you used to. Oh, by all means, you used to. Bearing fucking made a brilliant video towards the way you used to be to the way now. And I will leave a link for that, actually, in the description. Because you should watch it. Seriously, you should watch that video. It's really, really good. Right, because he, he, he totally, from then to now, I think it's about five years or something, from then till now, what a difference in the guy, I'm telling you, fucking totally different dude. But anyway, let's hear what else you've got to say. Um, and by the way, I did just look that up a minute ago, so don't think that I knew that. Told you. Fucking, he just fucking Googled it. Congratulations, well done. Do you know how to use Google? Good job. Good job. I'm really not that engaged. Personally don't think your brain's fucking engaged, but fucking that's just my opinion. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I mean, 
I I guess I was happy with the result in that it was way better than I feared it would be. I mean, all of the polls, even though labor had been trending upward for the, the, the weeks leading up to the election, uh, most of the predictions were still that the Tories were going to win and were going to increase their majority. That was pretty much your right, yep. But the massive increase, the increase you're talking about was like four seats for Labour. Four. Pretty sure it was four seats. Although they definitely only gained four seats. Right? And it wasn't as a, a one-sided a victory as we thought it was going to be because Theresa May basically shot herself on the fucking foot. Yay. Oh, you brought this up. Right, okay. Theresa May shot herself in the foot with this election. And I've been itching to fucking get to this. Now, Theresa May, now I have made a video previously explaining just the little thoughts in the two cents on terrorism, the UK election, whatever it was back then, right? And I made a point of this saying Theresa May came out with a mandate. All Theresa May had to do, and this is Sargon of Akkad that said this, and this is the best, most accurate way of putting this that I can. And I'll, I'll even link the video where he says that in the description as well. Now, I'm going to paraphrase him slightly because I can't word for word remember exactly what he said. However, it went something along the lines of All Theresa May had to do to win this election in a full on landslide was to go inside 10 Downing Street, which is the Prime Minister's house, shut the fucking doors, and stay there until the day after the election. No, don't speak to anyone, don't say anything, just stay there till the day after the election. And then, day after the election, come out, address the nation, the world, address the entire of the United Kingdom, and say one thing, one statement, one sentence. Right, tomorrow, Brexit. exit. See you then, buff. And went back inside. And she, that would have been it, right? But no, what did she do? She came out with her manifesto and the... Things that's becoming quickly known as the dementia tax and the rape tax and the pri online privacy invasion. All these horrible things in the Conservative manifesto. And what she thought was going to happen, and I, can, I know exactly what she was thinking. She thought she still had this and that. She could say all these things and win in the landslide she thought it was going to be. And then she can turn around and say, well, this is what the people want. The people want this because I told them what we wanted and they still voted me in. But it didn't work out that way. Theresa May screwed herself over for this one. But this is the thing. I would still rather have Theresa May in charge of this country, this, the United Kingdom, than fucking Corbyn. Corbyn is a spineless gimp. Right? Under no one's, he made it very clear in a debate that under no certain circumstances would he retaliate in a, a mutual issue destruction situation if we were fired upon first. He would not fire back. I think Theresa May would. Fuck, I would. If fucking somebody's going to blow me up, I'm going to fucking damn sure make sure they don't do it to somebody else. I'll, I mean, I'll, I'll turn, but if they're going to turn my home into a smoking hole in the earth, I'm going to turn their home into a smoking hole in the earth. They make us go bye-bye, we make them go bye-bye so they don't make anybody else go bye-bye. But Corbyn hasn't got the spine to do that, so I'm really glad that he's still lost. Now, to, here we're going to go, I'm going to explain this one to you, right? For any of your, uh, any of the Americans watching or foreigners who are not aware of the, the British political system, um, to win a majority you need 322 seats. The Conservatives won 318. Again, only four seats. You see, that's all that Labour claimed, four seats. Right, the four seats that they didn't, that, that the Conservatives, the Tories didn't get, Labour got. You see, only four seats. But they still didn't win a majority. So the Conservatives are now in talks with, and I don't know if they are still, but at the time of filming this, they were, at the time of recording this, they were already in talks with the DUP, the Democratic Union Par Unionist Party from Northern Ireland. Now, if the Conservatives and the DUP do join a, co a coalition, because it was a hung parliament, right? Which means it was a case that there wasn't a clear majority winner. Um, they will go into a coalition with them who will basically reinforce all of their motions in the House of Commons when they put forward acts or changes that they want done or specific bills they want to put in. 
the DUP will support them and second their motions, right? That's basically what it is. Now, because the DUP is extremely conservative leaning, they're not too much of a fan of like LGBT stuff and all that, right? And I'm pretty sure there's a few LGBT inside the Conservative Party and I'm practically a fucking 100% sure there's lots of them who are homosexual. Male and female, you know what I mean? They're both, they're gay, you know, they're LGBTQ. I'm pretty sure there's quite a lot in, whether they're in the closet or whether they've come out to the world, there is a few in there. In the DUP, I'm pretty sure are not a fan of that. But anyway, it'll be interesting to see what happens if they do end up going together, because apparently they want Nigel Farage to head up the Brit exit. Uh, thing with the European Union. The European Union fucking hate Nigel Farage. Anyway, I'm going to continue. So, so to have Labour do as unexpectedly well as it did, to, to, to have Labour make so many gains that uh, the Conservative Party actually did not get a proper majority. Four seats. Four. Four. That's all. Four. Um, and you wound up with a hung parliament? I mean, that's 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 more than I expected. That's more than I dared hope for. Uh, so I guess I'm pleased with the election. Obviously, it would have been better if Labour had won an outright majority. No, it fucking wouldn't. No, it fucking wouldn't. Fuck you. No, it wouldn't. As I said, Corbyn's a spineless gimp who's a fucking completely retarded liberal. It'd be like you getting Hillary and just fucking the world up. At least Trump's given it a try. You know what I mean? No reason Trump got in is because nobody wanted to fucking vote Hillary. And Bernie Sanders is a fucking moron. Let's get the let's get free education for children. Yeah, very good. That was sorry, that was a really bad Stephen. Uh, louder with Crowder impression of him doing Bernie Sanders, but still, um, Steve is not. I am grateful. It was either I, I was. I'm grateful. Labour did not win because I know that the Labour Party is like, and they are fucking idiots, just like you. Yeah, I, you know, I, it would be better if there was a Labour Prime Minister uh, to replace Theresa May. That. I read again. You're wrong. We had one of those Labour Prime Minister, and we called, and that was Tony Blair, and his nickname was Tony the Tory. Because even though he was a Labour supporter, right, he ran the Labour Party party like the Conservatives because his whole family were fucking Tories. His dad was a Tory MP, a Labour uh, a Conservative MP. His family are Conservative. He himself is a Conservative. Hence why the old campaign slogan at the time was New Labour, New Danger, because Tony Blair is, again, more affectionately known as Tony the Tory, and he ran the Labour Party like the Tory party. So we've had a Labour PM re recently, and he was a fucking walloper. Then his replacement, Gordon Brown, a Scotsman like myself, the most boring man I've ever had the misfortune of hearing. Right, and still, what a fucking retard. You and them have something in common. You're all fucking retarded. Did not happen, doesn't look like that's going to happen, but uh, I guess I have to take what I can get. We have to call that a win. We have to call that a cause to celebrate. And we have to use it as motivation to do more and to do better next time, which is the important bit. Hey, retard. Yeah, you, you retard. You fucking retard. What the fuck? Right, okay, listen, no. You, you, you did the same with fucking Hillary when she lost. Oh, it's not what we wanted, but it could have been. But no, 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 no. It's the case of what you wanted and what you want doesn't matter. What is needed is for Britain to get out of the European Union. What you need to do is dump your feminist wife and fucking start realising that the only reason you are like this now is because the only thing that I can see that's changed in your life is your choice of fucking bedmates. Right? I watched your interaction with your wife, by the way. And I, I mean saying, yes, yeah, Steve, go get my vibrator. Yeah, that was kind of a, you are a cuck. Right? And not because, but literally, she made you pick apart your music, your books, your films, your TV shows. She made you pick apart your life looking for misogyny and uh, male fucking toxic masculinity. 
right? That is not a good woman. That is a cunt. My partner would never dare pick apart the TV shows I like. I mean, she watches all those, what I think are toxic feminist ones. The feminine ones, like The Millionaire Matchmaker. Which is basically, as far as I'm concerned, programming for the fucking brain dead. The same with uh, all these soap operas. Right? Especially the British ones, like Emmerdale and Coronation Street. I mean, that's programming for the fucking mindless. I mean, honestly, you can, I can watch those shows and I can feel the intelligence fucking chip melting and starting to run out my ear. Right? But anyway, so... I'm digressing from the point. You are a fucking retard. Anyway, this is all I'm going to go into for this video because this is all I wanted to talk to him about. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for uh, stopping by. If you liked this video, hit like. If you didn't like it, don't do anything. <laughs> no, you can hit dislike if you didn't like it. If you want to leave a comment, you can, and remember to subscribe before you leave. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Alexander Kingsfallen, and I will see you in the next one.